All right, you don't see me and it doesn't matter. Today I'm going to be showing you a skill. It's called urine output, measuring urine output. Let me just begin first with what my supplies are. Supplies. First here, you have your uh, bedpan with water inside. So who prepares this? Usually it's going to be the proctor. We'll get it ready for you. And then here is a graduated cylinder. It's a cylinder called a uh, cup. And then it has some lines in here. Its line indicates 50 ml, 50 ml per line. So that goes from, I believe, from zero all the way up to 700 ml, or actually 800 ml. So there are two columns here. This one column here is for the odd numbers, and then here is for the even numbers. But both are the same wherever you want to turn that. Also have a pair of gloves waiting here and also have two table barriers, okay? Sometimes they were just going to be using paper towel, but for today we're going to be using this material so uh, it will be recyclable and we can use that. Okay, so this will be positioned usually at the bottom of the bed of the patient. And you still have to go inside the residence room. You still have to ask permission, allowing you to go inside and uh, do your task. So I'm going to go. I already washed my hands. Knock, knock, knock. Good morning, Miss Mary. Uh, my name is Nathan. I'm your CNA today. And I'm here to measure your urine output. Is that okay if I come in? She says yes. And I'll check the wristband. I'll go ahead and uh, make sure that she's safe. Wheels are locked. Bed is the lowest position. She has the call light and we'll close the curtain. Miss so Mary, I'll be right back. And then you approach the table. Okay. So what you're going to do is, all right, you're going to put on your uh, gloves. Immediately put your gloves on. So it's already waiting for you right there. You don't have to collect that from Miss Mary. It's already set up for you. So... And then you turn it on. Oh, no. Hi. And then after that, when your gloves are properly put on, you hold this one here. It has two locations for you to put your hands on. This is the handle, obviously, and this is the other end of the bed pan. So the bed pan, there is no holes in here for you to use to uh, get the water exit from the bedpan there's nothing not all so to the side so you will use this little bend here the little corner here this is where they come out so uh, when you pour this into the cylindrical object here you'll just hold to hold here passing and it should away from you i'm gonna go this way so right there and then you say no spills no splashes no abnormalities. So when I say that, abnormalities meaning there's no blood, there is no floaters or any sediments, there's no uh, uh, parasites or anything, and there's no stone, there is no abnormalities, there's no strong foul odor, and of course um, it is clear and amber, yellow, and those are the things when we talk about abnormalities. Do the proctor ask you about that? No, but at least you know when you say no spills, no drips, no abnormalities. Those are exact three words. It's on the books as well. Okay, so now it's on the graduated cylinder. What I'm gonna do is I will put in a flat surface. I know that's a flat surface. And then I will lower myself and maintain eye level. So I will go this way. I will not hold onto my pants because my hands got all some urine splashes in there. I don't want that on my uniform. So I'll just, I can use the elbow here and put it this way. And I can turn this if you need to. And then you can see the numbers there. So now I know what the numbers are. Eye level. I will not say, I will not reveal how much urine output did Miss Mary have for this, uh, for this session. So I'll just mentally note that. Okay. And then I'll go back up. And I will just mention this. I'll, I'll put this away. I will dump it in the toilet, wash, rinse, and dry, and put it back where is it. And then come back here. I'll also wash this 
rinse and dry and put it back where is it. So that means you will not physically dump this on the toilet. You will not put this away. You will not uh, leave this anywhere. Just put it back where is it, okay? Because the proctor will check that. So what I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my gloves and then uh, make sure that you follow the regular protocol and taking that off. And then go to the trash can if you don't see that. And then immediately I'll just mention I sanitize my hands. I'll leave it as it is. I'll turn back to Miss Mary. Okay, Miss Mary, already uh, stain your measurement for your urine output. I'm gonna have to go, uh, go back to my work. So the whistle lock, the bed is in the lowest position, collect with it within reach. And you want a magazine TV remote? Okay, she wants a TV remote control. Okay, uh, do you want the curtains closed or open? Okay, all right, she wants it closed. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna wash my hands and document. After saying that, I'm gonna wash my hands and document, then I will have to literally write down the numbers. I will go to the paper and then wait in there and I put there how much I counted. And I knew that is, for example, there. So I put in there that number. I will not say the number. I will not read it out loud. Here comes the proctor. Then you go to the proctor. Miss Proctor, I'm done with my skill. So the proctor, okay, good. Proctor goes here, she checks it. That's why you don't throw it away. If you throw it away, the proctor's like, wait, wait. Well, how do I count now? So you go back here, you will count the number. The proctor will check. Okay, the proctor, I guess, know that. She knows how much is what. And then she knows that you wrote the exact amount that you read, so 450. Now we have a question that can potentially you be worried about. What if you counted 450? This is how much you count. But the proctor reads 475. Did you pass or fail? I think the it's not accurate. So, uh, you still pass. Just the new listing. Right. So another thing, she's in the system the book too. You're allowed to have 15 ml difference between you and the proctor. So, um, but if it's like maybe 100, you read 450 ml, but the proctor is 550. So guess what? Uh, the one to be followed there will be the proctor because he's the boss there. So, but then, do you fail? Not yet. You will not fail yet. But they will remember that. Does she have any problem with counting? She give you the um, weighing scale, or maybe the blood pressure, or maybe the pulse rate, or maybe the respiration. That involves counting. If you continue to show that you don't know how to count, then she'll be so happy to turn you down and come back next time that you know how to count. So this is uh, very important in there, okay? So 15 ml difference between you uh, and the proctor.